Thank you for listening to a nighttime adventure bedtime story from nighttimeadventures.com. Visit our website to view hundreds of exciting bedtime stories for children of all ages. The Nighttime Adventures of Max, Lost in the Woods The sky was a canvas of vivid hues, painted in oranges, reds, and purples, as the sun dipped below the horizon. Max snuggled into his soft inviting bed, eager to see what thrilling adventure awaited him in his dreams. The final moments of daylight slipped away, replaced by the velvety embrace of night, and Max let himself be carried away into the enchanting realm of dreams. As Max opened his eyes, he found himself standing at the entrance to a dense sprawling forest. Towering trees stretched towards the heavens, their leafy canopies creating a cool dappled shade on the forest floor. Max eagerly stepped onto the well-worn path that snaked into the woods, Excited to embark on a new adventure, Max walked for hours, breathing in the fresh earthy scents of the forest and listening to the symphony of birdsong and rustling leaves that filled the air. The sunlight danced through the leaves, casting ever-shifting patterns on the ground beneath Max's feet. As he journeyed deeper into the woods, Max realized that the once clear path had become twisted and overgrown, making it nearly impossible to follow. With a sudden pang of concern, Max realized that he had become lost in the vast expanse of the forest, and the sky above was beginning to darken as evening approached. Max knew that he would have to spend the night in the woods and rely on his knowledge of survival skills to stay safe and warm. Max's resourcefulness kicked in, and he set to work, searching for materials to build a shelter. He gathered branches, leaves, and moss, constructing a cozy lean-to against the trunk of a sturdy oak tree. Max used his hands to scrape a shallow depression in the earth beneath the lean-to, ensuring that he would be protected from the wind and insulated from the cold ground. With his shelter in place, Max turned his attention to finding food. He remembered learning about the various plants and berries that could be found in the forest, and he was soon able to locate a patch of ripe blackberries in a small grove of hazelnut trees. He gathered the nuts and berries in the folds of his shirt, storing them in a small hollow in the trunk of his oak tree for safekeeping. As the final rays of sunlight disappeared beyond the horizon, Max built a small crackling fire to keep warm and cook his hazelnuts. He roasted the nuts over the open flames, watching as they turned a delicious golden brown, then feasted on the fruits of his labor. With his belly full in the fire casting a warm flickering glow over his shelter, Max settled down to sleep, cocooned in the leaves and moss he had gathered. The night was alive with the sounds of the forest and Max listened to the lullaby of owls hooting and the rustle of nocturnal creatures in the underbrush. As the first light of dawn broke through the trees, Max awoke, feeling refreshed and ready to tackle the challenge of finding his way out of the forest. He knew that the sun would be his guide, rising in the east and setting in the west, and he used this knowledge to orient himself and determine the direction he needed to travel. Max set off, walking with purpose and determination as he navigated the now familiar forest. He used the sun's position in the sky to maintain a steady course, pausing occasionally to admire the beauty of his surroundings and marvel at the tiny details that he had missed on his journey into the woods. As the sun climbed higher in the sky, Max's confidence grew, and he knew that he was getting closer to finding his way out of the forest. He pressed on, fueled by the excitement of his adventure and the knowledge that he would soon emerge from the trees and return to the safety and comfort of his own bed. As the day wore on, the once dense foliage began to thin, and the forest floor opened up into a sun-drenched meadow. Max's heart swelled with joy as he stepped out of the shadow of the trees and into the warm embrace of the sun. Before him, the meadow stretched out in a carpet of brilliant green, dotted with colorful wildflowers that danced in the breeze. Max knew that he had successfully navigated his way out of the forest, and he felt a tremendous sense of accomplishment and pride in his ability to use his survival skills and knowledge of nature to overcome his challenges. As he stood in the meadow, taking in the beauty of the world around him, he felt the familiar tug of the waking world calling him back. With a gentle sigh, Max closed his eyes, allowing the dream to dissolve around him as he awoke in his own bed, the morning sun streaming through his window. The memory of his adventure in the woods remained vivid and real, a testament to the courage resourcefulness, and determination he had displayed throughout his incredible journey. Max would carry the lessons he had learned in the forest with him, inspiring others with his stories and instilling in them the same spirit of adventure, determination, and self-reliance that had guided him through his extraordinary experience.